or the shrimp. You've probably seen it on a lot of people's social media today. Robert's, mine. Robert's is behind the camera, by the way, so he's over there. So that's why you can see an excellent pattern for uh, sea run brown in the fall. I mean, they have a really a tendency to love these orange all through the winter and also in the spring. Flexman as a cover onto the um, back here. Makes it simple, very good balance. Uh, in my opinion, a very natural look and it's fairly durable. And if you catch too many fish on it, that would ever happen. At least you can just add some more glue and you're good to go again. So simple, Flexman, orange, space shrimp. To the body on this fly, I want to have really bright uh, dubbing material. So I want to have some color, but I also want a lot, a lot of fluorescent um, inlays in it so I prefer to make it in a dubbing uh, in a coffee grinder and what we want to create is something that has a, a lot of color but a lot of fluorescent um, uh, structure to it too so we're gonna mix five different uh, type of dubbing of course you can basically use two if you want to but I think it's it's really cool to make these all different kind of inlays in it so it really pops out so that's what we're going to do so we're gonna run some eat a peach super good all-around dubbing some um, Baitfish Supreme, always a nice color. Really love these uh, kind of purple inlays to it. Um, as left Prism, really nice solid fluorescent orange, super nice color. Take a bunch of that. Gold, always nice with orange, perfect mix in my opinion. I think it fishes really well to have gold in the orange mix. I always have it in any case. I think it's super good. And then just a plain uh, SLF salt water. This is what you see the original um, uh, space rims uh, from Denmark are tied with uh, as a body. Not this color, but um, slightly lighter one. So uh, I like to have this. It's actually a really good uh, volume builder and a structure. If you have, or if you can get seal, seal is also a really good um, volume builder when you're doing dubbings like this. So five different ones. Into the coffee grinder. And uh, hopefully we have something really fluorescent in here now. Hook, light wire. Uh, white Gape, this is the Airx NS122, I think it's one of the best hooks for this type of uh, flies. And uh, this is actually a size 4, I was supposed to tie it on a 6.56 six, but I forgot that at home, so we're going to do a size 4. Um, 4 is actually in my opinion really good for when the, the water is a little bit warmer and uh, like in fall where, where you have a little bit warmer water and uh, they're a little bit more aggressive. I like the size four. Uh, the winter time, I prefer to use uh, size six, but it's all depending on what you prefer also, and where you're fishing, of course. This is probably more, a little bit more closer to the size that the shrimps really are. Of course, they're not orange, but, or they're boiled, at least they're orange.
Try to, because we're going to use um, some craft fur as the back here as a shield, um, and we're not going to do any ribbing uh, because I just want to make it very simple. We're just going to use the um, resin as a combiner so we keep this uh, sitting down. It's actually working really simple and really, uh, really strong also. So, what I want you to do is to kind of like try to get most of those dubbing fibers and that hack go down to the belly side. So, um, so you don't have too much material interfering with the back here. Because also the, the resin gets a kind of a little bit stronger uh, base foundation to, to get strong, to get um, attached to here. Something like that.
So now I just want to make a solid back to this. And of course, it's important that it keeps it down. So after three, four fish, it does not stand like this. So, so I want to usually try to do this in, in kind of two layers. So the first layer of this is a uh, flex band. So it's a flexible uh, clear UV glue or UV resin, which makes this a little bit more, uh, in my opinion, a little bit more uh, durable instead of the hard ones. So put some on the back here. And then get your finger kind of like push it through the material a little bit so you get that a little bit the right shape you want it then let's uh, cure that it's better to go multiple layers than just one thick layer because now we're going to get a much stronger foundation here um, of course you could use ribbing and rib this down but i think this is just so fast and so simple and uh, it's in my opinion it's very strong and durable so it works really well and then we're gonna go a thin last layer here of course if you want to win this please leave a comment in the um, thread subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, well might be just you that's going to uh, fish this for some sea run brown wherever you live